bringing you fashion in New England. Taking you behind the scenes of the latest shows. And bringing you New England's finest fashion insiders. This is Style It Up.
is hard down those books are heavy my sport is football but my passion is education right up so every year i take promising high schoolers on a college tour to show them that higher education means a brighter future my name is namdi asamoa i don't just wear the shirt i live it you can be a reader tutor or mentor too take the pledge at liveunited.org volunteer do you wear this So, I got this new family, and I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. This is Style It Up. Um, well, uh, there's not many Mexican pieces at the collection. And one of my favorite ones is the tiles. The Spanish, uh, the Mexican tiles are at the Spanish room. And um, I was very lucky because we, as the museum, has all the records of everything. Uh, I went to see the uh, church that they were actually at. And um, yeah, when they were removed, uh, they, they were removed from, from yes, mm -hmm. 1916. Uh, yes, yes. No, <laughs> so it was very interesting because as uh, the facade was pretty um, neoclassic in a way, but it's a neoclassic that it's made with the indigenous. Um, uh, masters, craft masters, and if you go and see the inside, it was totally the rogue. So that's what I wanted to have with the uh, pieces that you saw, like these very geometrical pieces outside, and then when you take out the coat or you take out the jacket, then you will see like these uh, beautiful motifs that they were also made by the indigenous hands. You can tell that because they have never been seen a lion before, or they have never seen, <laughs> they didn't understand what an angel was, so it's between an angel and a dog or a cat, so they're quite interesting. And um, and also the jewelry was made with Ceramic Asuro, that he um, has a wonderful workshop, and he works with artists around the world, and these ceramics were made by my husband. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, so we wanted to give that idea of uh, the, it's like what I call um, um, minimalist, minimalistic baroque that I think in Mexico you can, <laughs> uh, you can get it uh, a lot of the time and uh, I'm very 
pleased and honored to be part of this museum for most uh, uh, two years now, maybe. <laughs> this feels like my second home. And uh, thank you for everyone that has made this possible, the catwalk, the residency exhibition, and um, my friends that introduced me to Boston. And um, I don't know, uh, we work with different communities, as I don't know if you know, but we work uh, in collaboration with many different communities around Mexico. Um, and this collection, if you notice, there were some, uh, mainly the codes have like this geometry, and that is made uh, in such as Nahuaca, Guerrero. And this is a new group that we're integrating because every season we integrate a new region and a new group. So this one is made with uh, Rebozo, that is made with Icat by hand and woven by Putlum. And then they cut it by hand and they stitch it. And it's like a um, um, very delicate process that you have to turn the, uh, the inside of the, of the, the cloth and then go on top of it, so it's super complicated. So our garments don't look that complicated, but part of what we do is to tell the story behind this, the videos that you saw at the beginning. And um, so we have rebozos from Estado de Mexico, then we have such as Aguaca with the embroidery, we have uh, charros with a hand-cut um, leather, we have also the ceramics that are made by hand, and we have embroideries that are handmade by Otomi women in Hidalgo. And we work with so many gardens that I always mix the collections, but mainly those for workshops. When you say something about the way you collaborate with the artisans? Um, I think, for me, the best designers in Mexico are the women and the men in the communities. So when I just started, um, doing clothing, I had two um, directions. One was to do it directly with the artisans and collaborate. That is very difficult because you have to go to the highlands and you have to walk. <laughs> Sometimes the boss just stops and then you have to walk the highlands and they don't speak Spanish and you know, it's very complicated. And the other one was just to have like the idea of and then take that idea and do it uh, ourselves. But obviously, if we have like the best designers that live in the highlands, because we chose to work with the <laughs> best designers. <laughs> so also for me, it's very important, the process of collaboration, that is not that they do the manual thing. They also have like amazing color taste. They, so we sit down, we go, it's very easy. So what we do is very easy because we go, sit down, see what they originally do, and make a little twist, just a very simple twist. And uh, from that, uh, the design is also a collaborative part, and uh, the creative process belongs to all of us that do the building together. That's <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are there any questions from the audience? <laughs> so congratulations, I was uh, struck by the choice of colors. So maybe due to my lack of experience of indigenous communities you're working with, can you give some comments on the choice of colors in this collection? Yes, um, in this collection we work with Anil Indigo. Uh, are we, well, in Sochislahuaca, the same lady that do the laces, do Indigo Blue. And uh, so they dye it. And we also have uh, denim that is made in Mexico. Uh, the denim was, uh, we used to be the first order, so denim since uh, it just happened like two years ago that we stopped being so. so uh, and we have like the patches of gray and blue. So the colors are mainly, you will see, if you have time to go to see the tiles, those are the colors that we were inspired by, is the Talavera. Uh, it's um, this ceramic that is blue, yellow, 
and um, gray and so and we have those natural dyes in Mexico still and obviously Puebla uh, it's um, when the now the La China came uh, not from China and then it went to Mexico and then to Europe that was like the route that it had to take so you will see um, that it, you can see in the tiles as well and the prints that Mexico has been very cosmopolita, cosmopolita. and um, so you have like a Chinese flowers mixed with lions from uh, Africa made with indigenous communities that go to Spain. No? So that's why for me the Isabella Store Gardener as well. So it's the complexity of a world that suddenly becomes smaller and smaller and everyone has like these attachments and also you can see that in the color. Yes, and in some patterns. Thank you. <laughs> uh, just to clarify what Carla is speaking about in the tiles. These tiles she speaks of are in the Spanish cloister uh, in our uh, museum and they uh, line the wall. Uh, uh, you, you, El Jaleo is the big painting in that cloister, but on the wall that uh, uh, is to the right side, all, all running along that wall are these extraordinary tiles. Uh, both the top part of that wall is a, in, the, in a floral design, but then there are small tiles that have, as Carla has said, all these fantastical images of lions and birds and, and strange creatures, sort of the magical realism that you've come to expect in the, in the, the literature of uh, writers from um, Mexico and um, uh, Colombia. But uh, don't miss those, because that's what su those images were, were, were taken from. Yes, don't miss them because you're gonna see what a lion looks when it's made in the 17th century in Mexico. <laughs> and I also wanted to thank uh, these amazing um, agencies that have worked for us tonight, that they do it like for pro bono and with their heart open. This is part of Fashion with Boston. That Jay, thank you very much because this is a lot of work and a lot of uh, energy that you every year go further and further and thank you very much and also Mariolga that she's an amazing makeup artist and I don't know if she's somewhere around here she, maybe she's not, maybe she's with the models downstairs and uh, Dynasty Models, thank you very much for the wonderful girls, they were amazing and also B Looks Her Studio that we had a group of four ladies doing that beautiful hair for the show today.